I'm doing mushrooms. I'm doing mushrooms. That sounds like it's something that is really not... I'm not doing anything. I'm drawing them. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm trying a few different things. I'm working in a style that's sort of different than what I typically do. I'm drawing mushrooms, which is a very unfamiliar subject matter, and I'm working in gouache, which is something I don't do very often. So I'm just generally trying to push myself, and I talk a little bit about that later in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you there. So today's Sketchbook Sunday video is a little different, since in today's video I'm only going to be working on one page in my sketchbook. And the medium I'm using is gouache, and I am not very familiar with the medium. And that was one of the main reasons I really wanted to go in depth with this page. Recently, I've realized that when I first started drawing seriously, I made a lot of progress very quickly. And I've sort of started to get to a point where I'm not making as much progress in my improvement as I would like. And I think this has everything to do with the mindset I've had towards my art. Because for a few months, I've felt pretty okay with my artwork. I've felt like I'm getting better, but I was comfortable leaving it at that. And that is something I have decided that I want to try to get over because I never want to feel too comfortable with where I'm at because I truly believe that there's always room for improvement and there's always room to get better in your artwork. And I've been saying that for years, so it's kind of funny that I turned around and acted like I was okay with where I was at. So with this page, I really wanted to push my boundaries a little bit. And I am, as you can see, doing some mushroom studies. And I have photo reference, and I was trying to be as accurate as possible. I didn't really want to stylize these mushrooms a whole lot. I really wanted to try for not exactly realism, but I wanted to stay true to the photo itself. This page in and of itself was a struggle for those reasons. Because not only was I limiting myself to a medium that I was not very familiar with, but I was also using a subject matter that is not my typical subject matter, and I was experimenting with a style that was unlike anything I've really done as of late. And I really think that I learned a lot about gouache specifically from working on this page in my sketchbook. And gouache is something that I've really wanted to learn how to use ever since I got the Reeves brand a little while back. And it's definitely different than any medium that I'm really used to. It's sort of similar to a mix of acrylic and watercolor to me. It feels very similar to work with. Although, you do obviously need to water it down in order for it to flow correctly, unlike something like acrylic where you don't. And I could definitely tell that as I progressed throughout this page and I experimented more with the medium, I was getting a little more familiar with how exactly the medium interacted with water and how much I needed to add in order to get the flow correct. 
And of course, there's always more to learn. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that was the main reason I decided to use the gouache in the first place. But I definitely felt a lot more comfortable using it by the time this page was done. So I'm really hoping that I will be able to continue this process of improvement in the months and possibly years that follow, hopefully. I just don't want to allow myself to become too comfortable with where I'm at. Because I have always felt happiest when I'm pushing myself. This page, even though it's not the best thing that I've ever done, is a page that I like a lot. And I think the reason for that is simply that I pushed myself and it was something that was more of a challenge for me. So I have been making a few lists of some things that I want to experiment with in the future. And I'm sure that those varying themes and generally different pieces will make appearances in the future. And I really think that there is value in pushing yourself, and that's the main reason that I ended up trying to rethink the way I was approaching my art, because I have always learned the most when I'm at the very edge of my boundaries, where it's almost possible that the thing that I'm doing is not going to work. And sometimes it won't work, sometimes it'll fail, but I've always found that that challenge is part of what allows me personally to grow the most. Incremental progress doesn't really work so well for me. And I think the acknowledgement of that was what allowed me to progress so quickly during the beginning of my art journey. So I really would like to revisit that thought process because I have been feeling a little not uncomfortable with my artwork because I feel like I'm still getting better, but I'm at a point where I feel like I'm not making enough progress. And so I'm going to be doing everything in my power to fix that and get my art in a place where it's constantly getting better and I'm constantly improving and developing as an artist. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and hearing me rant about my process. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. That turned out exactly the way I hoped it wouldn't. That's good. I have a lot. There's a lot going there's a lot going on. I always feel so utterly unprepared for this. And I really should figure that out.